When you imagine a farm, this is what you picture. But one organization here in the Lowcountry is changing that. It starts with a shipping container and ends with local leafy greens cultivated with science, safety, and sustainability in mind. Vertical Roots and its parent company, Amplified Ag, started three years ago with an idea shared by Stephanie Swackhammer and her father, melding his warehouse management software with horticulture. When you break the farm down, really that's what it is. You know, you're taking a product, you're moving it through a process, and it's eventually getting shipped off. A successful trial pot in Somerville grew to a facility now located in Daniel Island with 30 containers producing lettuce sold at local restaurants, grocery stores, and donated to food organizations here in South Carolina. Let's take a look to how a container becomes a farm. Shipping containers are fitted with HVAC lights and hydroponics to make the perfect controlled environment for produce which normally isn't grown here in the area. Seedlings are first planted in coconut fiber, no dirt here, and placed in water channels that water them 24 hours a day. Despite this, this method saves water. Horticulturist Matt Daniels explains. So here, since it's all contained and recirculating, basically our only loss is what the plant uptakes and needs. An added benefit is the speed, as plants reach harvest 10 to 20 days faster, allowing for many more yields a year. In spite of the sci-fi appearance that looks alien, this results in lettuce that's as local and safe as can be. 95% of all leafy greens come from the west coast, either Arizona or California. And I mean, food mileage, you know, all, like the list goes on of why that's not great for us. Plus it's sprayed with who knows what. The controlled environment of the container blocks pests, negating the use of any pesticides. And with a smart combination of code, any head of lettuce can be traced right back to where it began. This isn't a showroom for the farm of the future that will replace pastoral fields, but a supplement. Both will work alongside, not against, in future crises facing agriculture, solved in part by science. For your moment of science, I'm Storm Team 2 meteorologist David Dixon.